Hello everyone and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use your iPhone to capture an image of Jupiter or Saturn or any of the other planets and create something that you're going to be proud of and want to share with your friends. So let's say you set up your telescope and you point it at Jupiter and you look at it and you say, wow, this is this is so amazing. I want to I want to spread this joy to others. So you point your iPhone at it and you get this. This is the picture you will get just by pointing your iPhone at the eyepiece at Jupiter. It's interesting. You have a couple moons. You have this big spot which represents a planet that is not Earth, but it's boring. Someone will look at this and they'll say, why did you take a picture of a street light? And you'll have to explain, no, 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 it's Jupiter. It looks a lot better in person, but uh, it just didn't come out on my phone. So what you can do is you can go into the App Store and I use ProCam, but there's probably a million other apps that do the same thing that you just want something that will allow you to manually adjust the iPhone's exposure and the iPhone's focus because their auto uh, focus feature is not great when it comes to taking pictures of bright objects in space. So once you get that, you can point it again at your telescope and you can adjust it so you'll get a clear image of Jupiter and then you're going to want to take a short video. This is only three seconds long and it's more than enough to get a cool picture. You can see that it's definitely looking like Jupiter and it's kind of traveling through the frame because the Earth is rotating but you can see that there's banding and it's it's another planet. It, you can definitely tell it's another planet. So how do we make this better? So we're gonna, <coughs> sorry, we're gonna open up PIP, P-I-P-P, -P, which stands for Planetary Imaging Preprocessor. And with it, it looks like a giant Excel spreadsheet with all of these different options and it's probably very daunting to look at, but it's very, very simple to use. We're gonna come up here, we're gonna say File, Add Source Files, we're going to click on our little video that we took with our iPhone and we're going to say open. And this is just one of the frames. You can see how there's so much black around everywhere and then we got the little tiny Jupiter right in the center. So to fix that we're going to say optimize for planetary imaging which is basically going to crop it down to just right around Jupiter and it's going to get rid of all that excess blackness. So come up here to the top right and you're going to say do processing, start the processing. This is going to go by in an instant. You could blink your eyes and it would be done. A short video like this is very quick. If you did a longer video to get more frames, it might take a couple minutes, but that's still, that's still unbelievably fast. So now what we have is an AVI file of Jupiter. You can see it's holding steady right here in the center of the frame instead of traveling, and we lost most of the blackness that existed around Jupiter. So now we're going to move into the final step, which is using Registax to actually stack the images and it's going to make it crisp and clear. So we're going to come up here, we're going to say select at the top left. We're going to find the AVI file we just created, which is right here, and we're going to say open. And so we're going to get the first frame you can look down here, you can travel through all the different frames, but we're going to not worry about that right now, and we're just going to say set align points. And it's going to give you one dot, or it might give you a couple dots. It's just trying to guess what part to track it to. So you're going to right click and make it go away. Then what you're going to do is manually click all the way around the edge of Jupiter and tell it that this is what we're looking for and this is what I want you to track. And so the more points you have, the better it is. If you're doing something like Saturn that has rings, you would track it around the planet, but you would also track the rings as well, and that will give you a crisper image of the planet. Come up here, click Align. Now it's going to go through, and it's going to uh, put those dots on every single one and align it. You're going to say Limit, and then we're going to push Stack. 
Now what this is doing is it's stacking all of the good frames on top of each other to give us this much clearer image. You can definitely tell that it's round around the edges and it's not pixeling because of the iPhone's camera or something like that. It's this much clearer image with decent banding that we can see that it kind of looks like a picture of Jupiter. So we're going to save this image. We're going to call it the Super Rad Jupiter Picture. And now we're done with Registax. So, so far we've used 5 minutes and 30 seconds from start to finish. So that gives you about 5 minutes to go out and point your iPhone at your telescope and get a 3 second video or a 5 second video or maybe even a 10 second video of a planet and then you can come back in and in under 10 minutes you can go from having a boring picture like this to something like this that you can be really really proud of and actually want to share with your friends because ah because if they see this they're going to know that this is Jupiter. If they see the one on the right, they're going to say, eh, it could be. I mean, I guess I can kind of see it. But on the left, you can definitely tell that this is Jupiter. Uh, the same goes with Saturn. Instead of being just a, uh, a bright little blob like this, you can get decent detail around the rings of Saturn. And uh, many of the other planets will work too. But this was just a very, very, very quick tutorial on the most basics of how to use your iPhone to go out and take a picture or a video of a planet and turn it into something you can be proud of. There are many other ways you can do this. You can get a better camera. You can get a tracking uh, mount for your telescope that will track the planet through the sky. But this is just the most basic way you can do it. In under 10 minutes, you can go set up your telescope and end with a awesome picture like we created. But that is it. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'm still new to both of these softwares, so I'm not an expert on them. If you have experience with them and see that I'm doing something wrong, you can tell me and I will, uh, I will correct it. But until then, I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed.